Hey everyone, Scipio here, and I have another, uh, this is gonna be a quick install video, another Team Tech Off-Road product. Uh, this is the dead pedal for the JK. Now, some of you know exactly what this is and what value it provides. Uh, there may be some others that are like, huh? Dead pedal, CPO, explain. Well, the reality of it is a lot of automatic transmission vehicles actually have a dead pedal. And it's a place to put your left foot, your non-driving foot. Um, a lot of vehicles, a lot of cars have them. Unfortunately, the JK does not. So sometimes, like me, you're constantly trying to find a place to sort of rest your foot in a comfortable position. I oftentimes will put it up here on the uh, trim panel. But the reality of it is um, the solution is as simple as installing this. Uh, they call it a dead pedal because it doesn't do anything. It's just a place to rest your foot uh, so that you can actually have a place. And uh, for long road trips uh, and for wheeling, it actually makes things much more comfortable because you've got a good solid platform that's at a right angle uh, to put your non-driving foot. So anyway, I'm gonna install this dead pedal. It's gonna be super quick and easy. I do have a couple of tips for you I want you to pay attention to though. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna say, these are all 10 millimeter. Uh, I've got a little quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter. Uh, I recommend a quarter inch drive, three eighths inch drive at the most. And I'll tell you why. Two of the places that we're gonna remove actual bolts from uh, hold your uh, door strap on. And that's what that's for. But the other two that it uses more for alignment and a little bit of support are ground bolts. Now those ground studs are not designed to be load bearing and um, you know they're not very high quality bolts. So a lot of people have reported snapping those off by tightening things too tight. So what I'm gonna suggest you do is uh, get a small ratchet so you're not tempted to sort of accidentally over torque these things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just undo this strap and I'm actually gonna undo the wiring, let my door hang here, let it go gently, otherwise you'll, you know, dimple your cowl or something like that. And then I'm gonna use the 10 millimeter ratchet to remove these two bolts here. Now it's quite possible after you pull these bolts out that that's gonna stay in place. That's fine, just leave it. We're actually gonna put the dead pedal over the top of it. Uh, so we need to get those out. The next thing we need to do is get these ground post nuts off. And so I have a couple of ground wires hanging off of here, some of it from aftermarket install. You wanna leave all that in place. We're just gonna put the dead pedal right over the top of that, and they're still gonna press down on uh, that grounding uh, platform. Just make sure that everything is in a position where it can be uh, pushed flat. So in this case, this wire technically can spin around a little bit, and that'll give me a better flat platform. So those are some things that you can think about. And then the dead pedal is simply just going to fit right over those grounding posts and then use the two bolts. Now it's adjustable, uh, in this case, three positions. So I have it in the middle position or you can move it further back, which I think I'm gonna do, which is technically, from my perspective, further forward. Um, or you can move it closer to you, depending on where the most comfortable position is. So once you have it in place, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, sort of loosely get those engaged. And just like I said, make sure that you don't have too much stuff in the way. I've got a few aftermarket uh, wire bundles there, but uh, they're fine back there. Then I'm going to get these bolts started. Okay, now these two nuts are the ones that you don't want to over torque. So I'm sort of 
gently tweaking them and then you can see as it gets tight I just sort of give it a little pressure but I'm not trying to crank on it. All of my grounding wires seem to be secure. Now I can come back in here, reattach my door, and there you go. You can see the dead pedal right there. And literally it's just there to give you a platform for that non-driving foot. And uh, yeah, it believe it or not, makes a big difference. So for, uh, for long road trips or wheeling, you know, I generally like to have that platform for my foot. Like I said, most time I use this and I push right here. And, uh, but yeah, this just gives me another location uh, that's comfortable. So anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.